Hey guys, it's Greg Jones with Engine Builder. We are here at Pro Car Associates today to get our dream engine giveaway build underway. We're looking to build a small block Ford. I heard these guys have done an awesome job with those types of engines, been around for a long time. So let's go inside, talk to them, see what we can get built. Come on. Welcome to ProCar, what can I do for you? Hey, I'm Greg. Nicole, nice to meet you. Nicole, nice to meet you too. Uh, I'm with Engine Builder Magazine and we're looking to get an engine built, uh, a dream engine, just something that's all out, uh, something that we want to give away at the PRI show this year. Awesome. And we're looking to make the base a small block Ford. So is that something that you guys do? Is that something that you guys could help us out with? Oh, we're totally interested in that. We're professionals at getting all the power out of a small black Ford. Awesome. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. Uh, our engine builder, Chris, is in the back. Okay. You can walk through that door over there. We'll iron out the details for you. Awesome. It. Nicole, thanks so much. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Hey, what's happening? Hey, Chris. How you doing, Greg? Greg. Yeah, good yeah, to see good you. Good to see you. So this is it. Pro Car Associates, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I was just up there talking to Nicole and telling oh, her okay. we want to build a dream engine, small block Ford. We wanted to come to you guys and Sweet. see if uh, it was something you guys might be interested in building for us. So. Well, she's the Ford chick. You should have just talked to her. You don't need me. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's telling me to come back here. So here we are. Well, we know what. I think we may actually have something for you. So let's check it out in the back. Awesome. Okay? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, as you can see, we got a few things going on here. We got yeah. all kinds of general yeah, repair plus Tons of cool cars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Even getting the diesel stuff. Yeah, there you, you know. go. So we, you know, when you're around as long as we've been around, it's it's you kind of get known to do a lot of different things. So you get asked to do a lot of different things. Yeah. So whatever the flavor of the week is is kind of what we get into. It seems like. Right. So right. Fortunately, we've been building engines for a really long time. So I feel you came to the right place for sure. It looks like it. Holy crap! Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty exciting. I think this will work for a dream build. Think that'll work? I think that'll I work. I hope so. If not, you know, I'll, I'll be more than happy just to take off your hands. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> well, hey, let's tell the folks more about it. Absolutely. Hey guys, I'm Greg Jones with Engine Builder and welcome to the Dream Engine Giveaway Build, episode one. I'm joined by Chris Wright of Pro Car Associates. And uh, as you guys just saw, uh, you know, we didn't just meet, we didn't just plan this up two minutes ago. Uh, it's been a long process and we want to tell you all about it and you know, what one lucky winner is going to end up winning. So Chris, you know, we got a lot of the parts back here for the build that we're going to yeah. get underway here. You know any minute now uh, yep. but why don't you yep. tell the folks a little bit about kind of the process of putting this build together and maybe some of the reasoning behind what we're mm -hmm. building here you know I know from our end we didn't want to just build another big block Chevy or an LS right. you know they're you know they're awesome I'm not trying to take yeah. anything away they're awesome engines right and someone would be happy to win just, something like that's that. that's the thing everybody's doing but everyone's doing it it's right. not super unique these days and not that small block Ford is mm -hmm. not unique right. but uh, it's something different, oh, and yeah. uh, why well, don't you tell the folks a little bit about what we're doing here? <laughs> and you know, small block Fords. I mean, hell, you know, you saw even Kai Kelly put it in what is one street outlaw car for the streets and stuff like that with the small block Ford. And, yeah. You know, the Fords are definitely you know out there making some power. You know, you hear about the new Godzilla stuff, which more and more is going on with that. Yeah. So when we talked, it was kind of like, what could we do that'd be something attractive, something neat? So it was like, well, shoot. Why don't we do a small block Ford with good parts and do a twin supercharged setup from right, Torch Storm? Right. So and that, that is the unique factor. That was right the there, unique that, factor yeah. was, you know, you don't see those every day, you know, so let's just do that. And it sounded like a good idea. So we said, what the hell? And yeah. then it was, uh, well, why don't we look at what our horsepower levels we want to do? What do you think and what do we target? Well, quite frankly, we just said, ah, let's just target 800. So. You know, it's usable horsepower for most people that just want some power, yep. want to brag a little bit, yep. and want to, you know, want to pound the ground and spin their wheels and burn rubber, right? Yeah. So it was that piece. Now, getting into this, as we started picking out parts and we started talking, it was like, you know, looking at what manufacturers you guys have relationships with and working with, and it's a lot of really good parts going into this build. Now looking at it going, okay, so we got a phenomenal you know, world products block here yep. that quite frankly yep. is 
a great yeah. base for us to grow from. Right, honestly. more than enough, yeah. More yeah. than enough. I mean, do we want to make 1,500? Okay, sure, this will handle it. Yeah, yep. you know? so a 351 man of war, uh, yeah, for the small block. Yep, and yep. you know, this is going to be a 427 cubic inch. Mm -hmm. So we just started looking at it going, what do we want to do for stroke? All that kind of stuff. Let's go with a 9500 deck. So now we can go with a little more stroke and put a longer rod in it. And, you know, so we made it 427. And we said, okay, what parts do we want? So then he reached out to Callie's, yeah. Diamond. Yeah. You know, now we get our rotating assembly between Callie's and Diamond and then total seal with the rings. Yeah. And then it was like, yeah, well, definitely. A little unique factor there. Uh, you know, Lake Speed wanted to do something, give us some trick. Uh, you know, gas ported rings, oh, yeah. ultra thin, yeah. uh, one millimeter, one millimeter, two millimeters. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so the diamond pistons are all custom because of right. that. Right. So, yeah. And then it was, you know, well, twin supercharger that's just cool and that's a whole front dress i yeah. mean yeah you know so now you got these guys sitting here so now yeah guys from torque storm are happy to jump on board oh yeah, yeah. and you know so then it was you got king bearing johnson lifters pack springs so you know we have the cylinder heads are the only things not on display here from profiler yeah they were kind enough to get the set heads together and we're assembling them right now the heads are actually out getting ported yeah. So whoever gets this thing is also getting a ported set of heads, as well as all this stuff with an Urson cam, Cali's crank, ARP fasteners, yep. you know, cloys, Kometic. And then, I mean, come on, you got to look at that cool piece back yeah. there with the yeah. Holly High Ram and the Tick Performance intercooler built yeah. in. No, it definitely looks impressive so, all put together. So, yeah. so it's going to be a sweet package deal where, you know, let's face now looking at it, I'm sitting here going, 800 horse, psh, that's nothing. <laughs> I mean, we'll just, we'll just kindly put it at that but if somebody wants to throw a thousand at it okay that's not I, it on all honesty he's probably gonna make more than 800 anyway just with what we're starting with yeah but the reality of it is is we wanted to have a, a unique different good engine that's uh, something you can just go out and beat the crap out of also throw more at it so whoever is going to get this is uh, quite frankly very lucky i mean then you guys got those billet valve covers which mm -hmm. i've never seen that brand yep Okay. Yeah, so, these guys are out of Australia, Tremaniac yeah. Racing. Yeah. yeah, so they made that billet front cover and yep. those valve covers. Yep. And if you notice, the valve covers are notched on the top because those use the high output coils. So we got, you know, Holly was kind enough to work with us on mm -hmm. all that, which I've got a long relationship with, you guys do. And of course, love their EFI systems anyway, but now you can mount the coils right to it. Yeah. And that's just a beautiful valve cover for, to top off this build and give it a sweet look. Yeah, and, absolutely. And so, you know, I'm even impressed. I'm sitting here kind of going, man, I'm going to put my name in the hat and see if I can win, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and a couple other things. You got the Urson cam back here. Aviade gave us uh, the oil pan. Oh, there. yeah. Harlan Sharp gave us a nice set of their unmistakable orange rocker arms. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, can't miss those out gonna there. Going to be happy to throw those on. Well, and then you got Manly, you know, yep. got those a set of valves. Yeah. And, and then, you know, like on cam bearings. Exactly. Yeah. And of course, King is a, is a very good bearing. We've been using them for a long time. So that's a good setup for bearings Absolutely. for us. Absolutely. And then, of course, you top it off with the Terminator X, you know, right. so that's Holly's newer, I would say, platform of their Dominator HP Terminator setup. So yeah. this is a great Terminator X setup for whoever's going to put it in. So now they're getting a turnkey engine. Right, and they can do what they want with it. In they can do what they want Easy with tuning, it. yeah. Right, yeah. it's coil on plug, you got your ignition, you got everything. Yeah. I mean, we even got the cam sink sitting out front right there that goes in the front of this thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty exciting build, quite frankly. I mean, you know, I'm look, like I said, I'm looking at it all going, man, that's, that's a pretty sweet build. This is going to be fun. Yeah. And then we'll... You know, that, now the process starts where we, we already got machine work done on the block, okay? Did some initial grinding and things like that. So now we got to clean the block, put the bearings in it, paint it, start the process, right? Yep. Which yep. that will lead into more episodes, of course. That's right. With so you guys. As Chris just teased, you know, this is just one episode of a multi-series build that we're going to, multi-part series build that we're going to be doing. So Chris and I are going to be walking you through everything that we're doing here, the machine work. Uh, the cleaning work that he's got to do, all the assembly and uh, set up with the bottom end and top end. And, and, and uh, let's not forget, yeah. real quick, I was shocked when you guys, you know, got, was it RCS? Oh, uh, yeah, RCR. No. RCR, RCR, sorry, RCR, my bad. Set. RCR, yeah. you know, provided the engine stand for all this. And I will say, 
You know, we make a lot of our own stands and stuff, but as far as the aftermarket goes, I've not been impressed with too many of the aftermarket engine stands. And this engine stand is really robust, and quite frankly, you know, all you got to do to turn it over is put a ratchet yeah. and socket, yep. and that yep. thing it just spins it so rotates. easy with one finger. So you could have as big of an engine on here as you want. So for all you big monster motor guys out there and, or gals, you know, you need to turn an engine over. This thing works really good, and it can handle all the weight of a big engine build. Absolutely. So, so definitely, that's my first time ever using this engine stand. So that's pretty cool. So. Yeah, no, it'll give us a nice platform to build off of. And uh, yep, absolutely. Yeah, you know, again, want to thank uh, everybody, all these component partners that we've had, uh, you know, step up and say they want to be part of it. Uh, it's going to turn into an awesome small block Ford build. And Chris, yeah. we definitely want to thank you and everyone here at Pro Car Associates for donating your time on this build and letting us come into the shop and uh, <laughs> and get this thing done. And uh, Guys, Appreciate make sure you follow the link that's up here on the screen. That's how you sign up to win. Uh, go enter some info and uh, enter to win this awesome engine. And we're going to be giving it away at PRI on December 9th at the show. So make sure you follow yeah. along, and there's plenty more to come. So Absolutely. Th thanks, thanks for everybody. watching.